Hello, I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure WSUS. Now what WSUS does for us is it is an actual role that we can add to a server. And what it allows us to do is it allows us to deploy updates to all of our users within our organization. Now when users wanna get updates from Microsoft, there's more or less two ways they can do it. They can actually connect to Microsoft's website and download the updates that they want, or in an organization where you have a domain and you're using your group policies in WSUS, you can push the actual updates from Microsoft down to the user's systems. Now, the nice thing about using a WSUS box is that the one server can go out to Microsoft, grab all of the updates that you want, you can approve those updates before you deploy them out on your network. And then all your users connect to a local server to get their updates instead of going through and connecting to Microsoft through the internet. Now, in one of my previous videos on my YouTube channel, YouTube slash C slash William Panic, I actually have a video on showing you how to install WSUS. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to actually do a configuration for WSUS. So let's go ahead and jump out onto our Windows Server 2012 R2 machine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our administrative tools and then we're going to scroll down to the Windows Server Update Services and we're going to go ahead and double click on that. Now once WSUS pops up, what we're going to do is we're going to, under the options, where we happen to be, we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down to the very bottom, and we're going to choose WSUS Server Configuration Wizard. Now, when you first install WSUS, and you actually open the WSUS console for the very first time, this wizard will automatically kick off. So let's go ahead and walk through the wizard. So when you click Next, the first thing it's going to ask you is, do you want to be part of the Microsoft Update Improvement Program? Now, what this does for you is this allows your WSUS server to communicate directly with Microsoft. If you have errors or the system actually has issues, the operating system at WSUS can actually send information back to the Microsoft Update Improvement Program so that this way Microsoft can help to improve their next version of WSUS. So at this point, I'm not gonna go ahead and join into that. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose next. Then it's gonna ask me, which server do I wanna get my updates from? Now, if this is my first WSUS server, I'm gonna go ahead and get my updates from Microsoft. If this is a second or third or fourth WSUS server, and you already have a WSUS server getting the updates from Microsoft, you could go ahead and just choose synchronize with another WSUS server. And at that point, only one server has to go out and get the updates, and then the rest can get the updates from that server. Now the main server, when he pushes the updates down, he's actually pushing them down to what they call downstream servers. So the downstream server is the server that's going to get the updates from the actual WSUS server. But since this is our first Microsoft uh, WSUS server, we're going to go ahead and just grab our updates from Microsoft. Then it's going to ask if we are using a proxy server. In this lab environment, I don't have a proxy server, so we're just going to go ahead and say next. Then it's going to ask us, if we want to connect to an upstream server. Now, for us, Microsoft is our upstream server because we're not connecting to another WSUS. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on Start Connecting. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna go out and it's gonna start the connection with Microsoft and then it's gonna give us the ability of which language, which products, and so forth we wanna go ahead and download on this WSUS box. So at this point, once it's complete, I'll say next. And then it's gonna ask me which languages I want. So at this point, I can go ahead and choose English. 
Now I can download all of my updates for all languages or if your office or location has multiple languages and locales, at that point you can go through and pick all of the different languages. So we're just going to stick with English and then it's going to ask us which products do we want to install. I'm sorry, it's going to ask us which products we want to download the updates for. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do Active Directory and if you want you can go ahead and download stuff for ASP and we'll download our BizTalk servers and we're going to go ahead and download our development tools for all of our developers and we're definitely going to download Exchange but we don't have Exchange 2007 or previous so we're going to just download the ones that we are going to deal with we're going to go now, we're going to download our Forefront servers and we'll go ahead and download our application virtualization and we're going to go ahead and download BitLocker and then the rest we'll just go ahead and leave as is because it should have the downloads already for our office and all of our other versions that we happen to be using, Windows 7, Windows 8 and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and just click next and then it's going to ask me, what do I want to download? Now, I can download everything that Microsoft's going to give me. I can do just critical updates or definitions or drivers. I can download all of the feature packs if I want. Security updates if I want. I can download the service packs, tools, any of the update roll-ups, and just any of your updates. So at that point, I'm going to go ahead and say next. It's going to ask me, when do I want to do this? When do I want to set up my synchronization with Microsoft? So just for now in this video, I'm going to say synchronize manually. But at this point, you could go in, choose when you want to do your first synchronization, what time, and for how long. But again, I'm just going to choose manually for this video. And then at that point, you can go ahead and either begin the initial synchronization or just click on finished. And at this point, I've gone through and I've actually done the basic configuration for a WSUS server. So in this video, I showed you how to configure a Windows Server 2012 R2 WSUS system. I hope that you like these videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know if there's any videos that you would like me to create so that you can see how something is done in the Windows operating world. And I look forward to seeing you in one of my classes. Again, I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. Thank you for watching this video.